Hello, so this is going to be a video torture testing the Polish MP5 gas mask using caustic soda, lye or sodium hydroxide, whatever you want to call it. But I've done this test with some other masks that they've all done absolutely fine. Now, this one might be a bit more interesting. Now, you notice this isn't a complete MP5, because uh, when Beastor sent me basically one for spares and repairs, um, with all the valves and everything, so that's this one. So obviously I don't really want to destroy my actual MP5 if this destroys the mask. Now the results of this might be a bit more interesting than with most of the masks. Because with the MP5, it's got this polyurethane um, sort of rubber kind of um, lens on it. While the rest of the masks made from rubber, I assume it's butyl or silicon, um, or maybe even latex, the actual visor of this, or the lens, is polyurethane which makes me think that, you know, that's going to be a lot more vulnerable. Because a lot of people have reported and shown photos online that, you know, if you get an MP5 that's in bad condition, um, quite often the lens has dried out or cracked or is starting to rip. So I think this might be a lot more interesting than some of the mask has. So I just stop the hot water there. So you'll see that this mask is polyurethane because it's bendy. Actually looks like this one might be cracking ever so slightly at the edges anyway. But as you can see it's a bendy flexible sort of mask so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the sodium hydroxide and I'm gonna pour this in now remember don't try this at home unless you really know what you're doing because as I've said before sodium hydroxide is dangerous it can permanently blind you if you get in your eye it can dissolve your skin that kind of stuff so what I'm just gonna do is sprinkle a load of this in here and we'll see if we get any sort of reaction You can probably hear that there's a bit of a reaction already going on in there, which is what we want. But what I'm interested in seeing is, will the actual lens be damaged by this? Because that's what I think might happen with this one. Obviously there's no valves or seals to check, but what I'm interested in seeing is, will the lens be damaged? And will maybe the glues or anything holding that in crack and fall apart? So, um, we'll see, obviously Poland's updating their mask from this one now, they're moving to the MP6 and there's both a panoramic lens variant of that and one with two separate lenses. The MP6 looks a bit like a Fushida F2 or an S10, it's that kind of, you know, pretty standard looking mask now, um, you know, with filters on either side of it, 40mm, you know, one or two lenses for it, drinking tube and everything. But I thought this might be a bit more interesting, as said, because it's a mask that's known to have certain problems. So it looks like there might even be something happening to the lens already. I can't quite tell yet, but um, I'll see. I'm going to leave this in here quite a while, potentially for up to um, you know an hour if need be. Um, so what I'm going to do is stop the video in a minute, and I'll keep checking up on this mask in you know, like sort of 10 minute, 20 minute intervals. I'll let you know roughly when I start filming how long it's been, but as said, I think this mask might actually react a bit more than some of the others have. So uh, we'll see what happens. Right, it's only been five minutes so far and I've just added a bit more hot water so the mask's completely submerged other than the little ridge bit that the NBC suit hood's attached to. Um, but the lie's been making a bit of a weird noise, which I assume is something it's reacting with, so let's just get this out and have a look. So yeah, there's definitely discoloration happening to the visor in there. It still feels like it's attached, but um, yeah, that's interesting because obviously it was a bit discoloured to start with, but it looks like it has discoloured more than it had before. So um, obviously, yeah, I'll leave the mask to it soaking in there. I'll flip it back around so it was the same way up as before. Uh, there we go. And yeah, I'll leave it in there for longer, but it does seem so far like there is something happening to this because it definitely looks like the rubber's discolouring more than it had done before, so let's check back on it in a bit and we'll see what happens. Right, it's been there in there for like 30 minutes or so now I imagine, so let's uh, get the gloves back on and have a look. If not much has happened after 30 minutes, I don't think much is going to have happened at all. Again, the lenses look a bit discoloured. But other than that, I think it's alright. That's surprising me actually, because I thought this was going to just kind of fall apart um, in here, considering that these lenses have a bit of a reputation for not being brilliant. But as you can see, um, the lens seems fine. As I said, it seems a bit discoloured, but um, what I'll do is I'll pour the lie down the sink, then I'll um, clean this up with some water and we'll see if there's any um, visible damage. 
because I don't think if I leave it in for another 20 minutes or so it's going to make much difference because it doesn't seem like much has happened after the initial bit of reaction. Right, let's rinse it off. I definitely think the lens looks a, looks a bit more marked than it does before. It looks like there's a couple of brown streaks on there. That one looks fairly um, sort of heavy, but the lens doesn't actually seem too bad. So yeah, that surprised me. I thought that was going to really damage that lens. Again, maybe if the lie was more concentrated and it was in there for longer, it might have um, done a bit more damage. But yeah, that surprised me because... So, as I said, these masks have a bit of a reputation for sometimes, you know, turning up from surplus stock um, with cracked and sort of falling apart lenses, but it seems that sodium hydroxide doesn't actually destroy those. So yeah, colour me surprised, the Polish MP5 has survived this test as well. But as said, it could be that if I put it in a much stronger concentration of lye for several hours, maybe that would have fallen apart because it did seem like there was an initial reaction. I guess that might have just been some crap on the mask that was burning off and then the mask itself is fine but yeah thanks for watching that surprised me